Muy buenas a todos, soy Mariachi y bienvenidos a otro capítulo este de Raven. Habíamos hablado con la mujerilla, habíamos hablado con el chiquillo, le habíamos sacado un tira chinas. Y yo creo que lo que vamos a hacer es. El objeto adecuado. Disimuladamente le vamos a romper la botella. Con lo cual. ¡Hostia! Bien, bien. Bueno, no se va, ¿eh? Qué jodido. The bottle is nothing more than broken glass in a puddle. If Constable Oliver gets thirsty now, he'll be in a bind. I should help out. Que tenga sed. What do you want? Inspector Legrand is questioning the first of the passengers in the saloon. And? It will be hours before he gets to the stowaway. And? We'll save time if I question him. We'd also save time if you stopped asking me the same things over and over again. I will not let you in. What time is it, by the way? Got an appointment? No, but I'm hungry. Go and get yourself something. I'll mind the door in the meantime. Aha. Uh -huh. You could bring me something, though. So, what do you want to eat? Oh, anything. An apple or something like that. There's ham and eggs in the saloon. <laughs> Can't touch him. Why not? Sergeant Mills. Mm -hmm. He's responsible for the fitness of the unit, and he'll chew you out if he thinks you've packed on a few pounds. I see. Leave it with me. Yeah, thanks. Bueno, pues vamos a traerle algo de comer que le dé un poco de apetito. Que tiene que ser los huevos con jamón. O solo el jamón. Para que le apetezca beber algo y se pire. Y me deje entrar. Porque si no, no me. No me cuadra. Mancha de sangre. Hablar con el polizón. La gente libre no quiere dejar hablar con el polizón en la policía. Tengo que distraer de algún modo. Pues eso, con comida. Cogemos el plato. Whatever Constable Oliver wants, he's getting ham and eggs. <laughs> sí. Con duro de jamón. And just a pinch of salt for our friendly constable. Vale, vamos a matar un infarto, pero bueno. Good. Constable Oliver. Huh? Ham and eggs, piping hot. Oh, I, I, I shouldn't really. I don't see anyone here who'd rebuke you. It was a hard night. Yeah, true. Oh, mm, delicious. Mm, just enough salt. Tenemos un concepto distinto. Oh, that was good of you. Cheers. You don't expect me to wash your dirty dishes as well, do you? No, of course not. Oh, no tenemos agua. Could you, uh, could you bring me something to drink? Those ham and eggs were pretty salty. I'm sorry, I have to proceed with my investigations. Goodbye. Jodido tú. Let's see how long he can resist his thirst. Not long at all. Bueno, vamos a entrar al polizón. Mm. 
nervous? I would be too in your position. Who are you? My name is Adil. And you are... Constable Zelna. Why did you sneak onto the ship, Adil? I wanted to go back home. You're Egyptian? There's no work for me in Italy. I want to see my family again. And since you don't have money, you stole away. So what if I did? So, it was you who knocked me out. Me? <laughs> Never. No? Where were you when I was attacked? Well, I couldn't take anything with me on this trip, so I uh, snuck into the kitchen and took some canned goods. Interesting. And how do you know when I was attacked? Well, I, I thought it was yesterday, shortly before we set sail. I take this bump personally. What were you searching for on deck last night? I was hiding the whole evening. I wanted to go out and get some fresh air, see the stars. But then suddenly, they were looking for me. Were you in one of the cabins? No. Did you see anyone on the deck or on the roof? No. And after we arrested you? The English policeman put me in this cell. Then he left. I've been here ever since. And you didn't notice anything along the way? No, nothing. What about the gunshot? Didn't you hear it? Uh, yes. The English policeman had already arrested me. We heard a bang and looked around. And then? Then? The Bobby was in a hurry to get rid of me. He almost pushed me down the stairs and locked me in here. He left, and, and then a short time later, the alarm went off. Constable Oliver wasn't with you anymore when the alarm went off? No. I was scared that the ship would sink with me sitting here like a rat in a trap. It's hard for me to believe a single word of your story. Because I'm a foreigner? Because you seem to have learned our language in the space of a day. Accent free. Believe what you want. Who paid you to distract us? What? You went for a walk around the deck and let yourself be seen. Everyone goes off hunting you, and in the meantime, your partner shoots the Baroness in peace. No, I didn't do anything. I didn't want to distract anyone. I, I just want to go home. You're a liar, and a bad one at that. But sir, I'm telling the truth. And I'm the Raven. Inspector Legrand will deal with you. He's lying like a cheap rug. But he probably doesn't know anything about the murder. Very disappointing. So I have to keep searching. What interests me most is the shot that was fired here in the cargo hold last night. Mm -hmm. so we haven't found anything. Information. Bueno, pues vamos a inspeccionar esto, igual con las pinzas. Examinar la caja con el juego de la bala. Podría. Whoever fired the shot hit the crate. No, the bullet hole is too small for the tongs. The cargo hold also seems to serve as a changing room for the crew. At least for the ones who don't wear white uniforms. No way to read it. A stroke of luck. The lock is open. Oh, mira. Hmm. Oil stained overalls. And here, an old toolbox. Bueno, ahí encontramos algo malo, sea que no encontremos algo para abrir. Through a lot, hardly any paint, dented, and the lid is held shut by wire. Tengo un cable para aquí. Take it with me. Sí, para aquí necesitaba el cable. Necesitaba el cable para algo. Some wrenches, a bit of wire wool, an oily cloth, and here, a screwdriver. Ah, para abrir la puerta del inspector. Vale, perfecto. Destornillador, igual si sí puedo sacar esto. Bien, mariachi, bien. Vaya. I'm not a weapon specialist, but at first sight I'd say that this bullet looks exactly the same as the one Dr. Gebhardt gave me for Legrand. 
That would mean that the murderer also fired a shot here in the cargo hold before the murder. But why? Did they just want to make sure the old gun still worked? Or was it something else? And did the bullet really come from the same gun? I can only check that in the Grand's cabin. Bueno, lo dejo bastante claro. I've got the screwdriver. That's all I need. The young man is lying like a cheap rug. That much is clear. He can't have anything to do with the murder. When we heard the shot, he was in the custody of Constable Oliver, and I hardly think the two of them are working together. He could be responsible for the bump on the back of my head, and maybe he also stole some things from the buffet, but he's no criminal mastermind. What a pity. I expected more from this interrogation. Lagrand can try his luck with him. Vale, ya está. Esto ya está, esto ya está, esto ya está. Vamos a ver carga. Uh, a ver si hay algo por aquí. Que nos llama un poco la atención. Va a seguir un poco. No voy a ser que me deje algo esta puerta. Examinar Paul. Somebody put the trunk back on the shelf. I can't tell whether it was our young friend or someone else. It must be uncomfortable traveling like that, even if you're as young and slim as our guest in the cell over there. Pues parece que ya está todo lo que eh, I could take one of the saws with me as a souvenir. On the other hand, it would remind me of my bump and of my rather inelegant escape. Bueno, pues vamos a a la habitación del, del inspector Yo creo que con el cable la podremos abrir Y nos dará para Para investigar alguna cosa más Ops, hello Bueno, pues vamos a investigar Vamos a Don't act like that. Legrand can't manage all this alone. We're a team. Only until the end of this case. All right. Let's go to Legrand and tell him what happened. You fell asleep and then you left the door unguarded. Hmm. <laughs> well, are we going? Hmm? Uh, no, but don't try it again. Of course not. Se acabó el problema. Le voy a tirar chinas. Hello, Matt. Hi there. Matt. What? Here's your slingshot back. Really? Thanks. You're welcome, but. You should put Constable Oliver on the list of people who'd better not see it. I... ah... Uh, I understand. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Good man. I have to leave again. Sure. I'll let him play for now. Bueno, vamos a... al camarote del inspector, que seguro que algo encontramos ahí. Salió también. The lock isn't especially secure. I should be able to open it with the wire from the cargo hold. Es un profesional este tío. Ah, vaya. Lo tengo que hacer yo. ¿Y cómo lo hago? Pues 
Pues no sé cómo lo hago. Hala, uh. hasta adentro. Esto de que no expliquen cómo hay que hacerlo está muy bien. Ah, vale, guay. Bueno, pues casi nada, ¿no? ¡Ay! Me he quedado uno. Ya está, ¿no? No. Más arriba, más arriba. Soy bien. Más arriba todavía. Qué bueno. Quiero entender que hay que bajar, ¿no? A ver. Este está, este puede estar, este hay que bajar, este hay que bajar, hay que bajar y hay que bajar. Bajar los cuatro. Bueno, ha funcionado. <risa> There we go. Bueno, como siente el inspector la que nos va a caer. Nos va a caer la del pulpo. A lock, master and son. Tough to crack. If I wanted to steal the eye, I'd concentrate on getting the three keys. If everything goes according to plan, the first time this monster is opened will be in the museum in Cairo. Fingers crossed. Neatly folded and unused. Legrand hasn't slept since we cast off, nor on the train. Raro, pues. Legrand must have taken and developed the photos himself. He even made copies and enlargements. He seems to be prepared for everything, with access to more resources than a normal detective. Another alarm. It was tripped at some point, but there's no way to determine when. ¿Qué estoy buscando? Legrand's file on the Raven, centimeters thick, but totally useless. We're not dealing with the Raven. Why can't he see that? Our man is ruthless, a bomber, and quite probably a murderer. This file belongs in a museum. It's history. The inspector should concentrate on the present. Aha, that's the bullet the doctor removed from the Baroness's corpse. This is the pipe from the cargo hold. 
Legrand seems to have inspected it for fingerprints. I can still make out the powder. Hmm. No. Nothing to see on the end of the pipe that the attacker held. Either he wore gloves, or he cleaned the pipe. Hmm. There's nothing written on the bottle. I suppose it's some sort of stimulant, legal or not. Legrand has been awake for at least 30 hours straight, maybe more. I shudder to think what kind of side effects this stuff might have. A policeman on a murder investigation should have his wits about him. The risk that he could miss evidence or endanger himself and others is too high. Pues no parece que haya uh... Se ha investigado algo aquí, pero no, no sé qué. Mira eso. Pero no sé qué es lo que me manda a investigar aquí. Qué raro. Escritorio, ¿no? Caja de forense, a ver. A masterpiece. Forensic teams use kits like these, deplacing increasing importance on the preservation of evidence. But not in Switzerland yet. It's a small lab used to conduct simple analysis on site. All right, what have we got here? Mika, okay. Half of the tools in this box will be interesting for an archaeologist as well. Actually, forensics and archaeology are really quite similar to each other. The goal is to find out what happened, whether a few <laughs> hours ago or a few centuries ago. Good Lord. Good Lord. Good Lord. Good Lord. Good Lord. Good Lord. Reina especial. Good Lord. Good Lord. Good Lord. Good Lord. What's this? Oh, how practical. A hermetically sealed cotton swab for collecting samples. I'll take it. Eso para coger la mancha de sangre de puede ser. A small glass bowl for mixing chemicals. A small glass bowl for mixing chemicals. Good Lord. Fingerprints are overrated. Smart thieves wear gloves, or they make sure that there are too many fingerprints at the crime scene to check them all. I'm sure Legrand could work magic in this alchemist's lab. Me, I'm just awestruck. For forensics in the woods or the open country, I suppose. No use on a ship. Bueno, pues yo creo que yo creo que ya está. Se mira el cuco de pistola. A small glass bowl for mixing chemicals. Auto encontrar seguro. Yo creo que con el bastoncillo este. Vamos a sacar información importante de la... De la mancha de sangre. Mm. 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 She went to sleep and never woke up. This photo provides an overview of the crime scene. Yes, that's how we found her yesterday, I think. I wasn't really myself at the time. Hmm, 
No, nothing suspicious. Hmm, yes, the bed, the blood spot. The spot on the sheet is much bigger than the one on the mattress. There's blood on the blanket as well. A lot of blood, I'd say. The blanket and the sheet are gone. I guess they're in the medical center. Aquí al médico centro. Aquí al centro médico. A microscope. Looks like the one that Lutz Reichinger uses in his pharmacy. Just more modern. There's nothing on the slide, and therefore nothing to see. First, I have to put something under the microscope. Okay. Well, mira, si las balas son las mismas. Vale, perfecto. Bien, María, si te he visto bien. I need the second bullet for a comparison. Pues lo tengo aquí. All right. Esto es que coincide o no coincide. Estas, esto sí coincide, pero esto no. Vamos a buscar más. Tiene que haber más coincidencia. Ay, ay, No. Ay, 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 que vamos. That's the proof. Esta no la. shot the Baroness also fired the shot in the cargo hold. What could that mean? Both bullets came from the same gun. That means that whoever shot the Baroness was also in the cargo hold. That fact may be important later. <laughs> hmm. Smells like chemicals. Legrand probably developed the photos in here. There are still fragments of the syringe that the inspector broke in the sink. Why is he pushing himself like this? Even if he catches the raven, is it worth ruining his career and his health? Bueno, pues yo creo que ya está todo lo que teníamos que... ...que mirar. Vale. Me voy al camarote. Porque creo que necesito... ...recoger la muestra de sangre... Doctor Gebhardt locked the door, and until I have good something. So I suppose I must have sent it with the baston. Examinar. I always wanted to do that. En el microscopio. Pero necesitaría otra mancha para ah, el trapo. Pero si va a ser la misma. Y ahora, ¿qué hago con esto? The cotton picked up traces of blood from the Baroness's bed. Hopefully enough to test. Hmm. Assuming the so or. Hmm. Vamos a... Vamos a volver. Y probablemente productos químicos. Ahí, tenga, ahí puedo hacer algo. A ver. Si no aparece el inspector, claro. Está anda como Pedro por su casa ya. Vamos. 
o sea, caja forense. Y yo creo que, porque aquí no creo, aquí no me deja ya, aquí no me deja manipular ya. La caja forense, en donde el recipiente. Ah, no. Amigo, no. A small glass bowl for mixing chemicals. A small glass bowl for mixing chemicals. Good Lord, which of these chemicals are for analyzing blood? Vale. Good Lord, which of these chemicals are for analyzing blood? Good Lord, which of these chemicals are for analyzing blood? Good Lord, which of these chemicals are for analyzing blood? Yo creo, o preguntar. Tengo que preguntar, tengo que preguntar, o bien a... ¿Ah? O a la escritora, o a la mujería de fuera, o a su ayudante. Que sabe que controla de medicamentos. Yo creo que es la ayudante la que controla aquí, controla de medicamentos. Pero bueno, creo que lo vamos a dejar aquí. Yo creo que ya vale por hoy. Ya hemos investigado y hemos descubierto que la bala es la misma. Y lo siguiente que tengo que hacer es, sobre todo, centrarme en la mancha de sangre. Conseguir los, pro los productos químicos para poder realizar en ese recipiente. Seguramente que es eso. Así que nada, vamos a dejarlo aquí. Ya sabéis, un buen like, un buen comentario. Seguiremos dándole a este de Raven. Sed buenos. Nos vemos.